I will show you the big changes that Tesla has made to its flagship sedan Model S that you probably have never seen before. Why? Well, because they're hidden inside the car in places that you normally don't get to see. I will show you those components side by side from the original year of 2012 all the way to the current model. You will be blown away by all of the differences and improvements that Tesla has made in the last eight years. As a matter of fact, you may even wonder at the end of this video, did Tesla know how to make those car thingies back in the day? And for this special video, I found a very special car that we will work with. It is one of the first Model S sedans ever made with a VIN number of just 104. And on top of that, it's a release candidate, as you can see that R in the sequence number, which means Tesla was probably using this car for testing. So let's get started right now. Welcome to you for electric your number one source of electric car scoop if you are interested in everything that's going on in the world of electric cars go ahead and click on that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything moving forward. Tesla made a lot of changes since 2012, including implementing the autopilot, the full self-driving, the Tesla cam, the battery improvements, and so many more, but you've heard about most of them. But what you haven't heard about all the things that they improved on the inside of the car. And that's what I want to tell you about in this video. All right, well, first of all, let me introduce uh, this car to you. It is a 2012 release candidate of the Tesla Model S, and I found it at the Zapaska Tesla Auto Parts and Service here in Sacramento, California. You probably remember them. They are the owners of that Savage Model 3 that I did a story on. As a matter of fact, that car is still available. So if you want to contact them directly, I put their contact information in the description of this video. Now, this car came in with a lot of employee paperwork inside, including the employee parking lot pass and many other cool things. And yes, those socks are pink. It's my favorite color. First, let's start with the door handles. Now, these are very cool. When you approach the car, they come out. When you leave, uh, they go back into the body of the car. Obviously, it's good for the aerodynamics and impressing your friends. But if you own the Model S, you probably have faced one of the two common issues. One, once in a while, the mechanism inside breaks and they don't come out. So you can't open the door. And number two, especially in hot states like California, you grab the door handle and it's so hot, you burn your hand. All right, so this is the original 2012 design. As you can see, a lot of things are going on here. First, the door handle is made out of metal. But secondly, when something goes wrong, it's usually one of the three things. One is the faulty micro switch that needs to be replaced. Two, it's the wiring. As you can see, the wire goes back and forth, back and forth, and at some point it just gives up. And three, it's that little part that's part of the mechanism that pushes the door handle out and then pulls it back in. When it breaks, it's all over. And this is the latest design that Tesla is using now. As you can see, it's very clean, pretty much no moving parts except for a couple, and they're made out of something more sturdier so they don't break with time. And the door handle itself is made out of a plastic-like material so it doesn't heat up under the California sun. Now let's look at the steering wheel column. As you can see, the very first one has exactly the same design as you would find in a Mercedes-Benz at that time. And there is no surprise because Daimler, the parent company of the Mercedes-Benz, has invested $50 million for 9% of the company back in 2009. And Elon Musk even said that that investment has saved the company from bankruptcy. Later, when the partnership with Mercedes-Benz has come to an end, Tesla has redesigned the steering column. As you can see, the stocks have been switched around. Uh, as a matter of fact, those of us who got used to the original Mercedes-Benz design had a really hard time switching over to the later models, turning on our wipers when we're trying to signal, but this is what it is right now. Now let's look at the side marker. Back in the day in 2012, it was designed to basically make the car look better. It has the blinker built in there and had the Tesla logo on it. But now that every Model S has the hardware already built in in every single car for their autopilot package, whether the customer buys it or not, that marker has become a host for a side camera, not just for the autopilot, but also for the surveillance features of the sentry mode 
and the Tesla cam. Now let's talk about the lights. Even though the shape of the lights has not changed, the way they work and the configuration inside definitely has. Originally in 2012, Tesla has gone with the xenon lights, which were much cheaper to produce than the LED lights, but they wouldn't last as long. They would take more electricity and they weren't as bright. As a matter of fact, when you see a Tesla driving around with part of the outline of the light missing, that was the problem that Xenon lights had in the past. Now, Tesla has switched to LED lights that came down in price. They last longer, they are brighter, and they take less electricity from the battery pack. Before we talk about one of the most important parts of an electric car, the motor, a quick reminder that this video and this channel is sponsored by Evanex, the Tesla community's accessory store. Use E4 Electric, the name of this channel, as a discount code for all of your purchases over $100. Let's talk about the motor. It's a little bit difficult to compare because uh, back in 2012, there was no dual motor version at all. There was just a rear wheel drive version and this is what the motor looked like there was no visual difference between the performance version and the regular version the other motor that we have lined up right next to it is the rear motor of the current version of the model s as you can see it's much smaller it has less torque but much much more reliable even the tire pressure sensor has changed drastically since 2012. back in the day the cars had to be brought to this service center in order to recalibrate it after for example you had to change tires on your car but now it recognizes itself and can self calibrate so you don't have to worry about it at all let's talk about the seats oh boy they had an evolution of their own the original seats were pretty flat not that much support on either side so you were kind of sliding around when you were driving the headrests were pretty low and kind of just fixed into the seat there was no ventilation and they were made out of leather the latest design of the seats is way more comfortable they have support on both sides the headrest moves up and down they're ventilated and they're no longer made out of leather as a matter of fact nothing in model s is made out of leather also tesla has brought the production of the seats in-house let's talk about the radar now that changed a lot as well the original version was designed by bosch and had a problem of just stop working in the middle of your drive so your autopilot would also stop working and there was no telling when it would come back the latest version is designed by continental and it's much more reliable the monitor the centerpiece of the model s interior design now i can't say that this part was actually improved over the years they went from one problem to another now the original problem was where the glue would leak out of the monitor into the insides of the dashboard and leave those bubbles on the monitor that puzzled so many owners and i'm sure you've seen pictures of that over the internet in the last few years Tesla since fixed that problem, however, a new one has arrived. In some cases, the new monitors had a tendency to burn out on the edges, and that's where you would see the yellow frame around the monitor, and you would have to go to a service center and replace it. As a matter of fact, that was the inspiration for the background of this video. These are the improvements that Tesla has made over the years. There are many more, but I thought these were the coolest. If you thought that I missed one that I should put in the next video, definitely let me know in the comment section of this one. If you want to reach out to Zapaska Tesla Auto Parts and Service here in Sacramento, California, either become their customer or inquire about one of their cars, including that Savage Model 3, I put the link to their website in the description of this video. Quick shout out to all of my Patreons supporting this channel. If you want to become a part of my Patreon community, go to patreon.com slash e4electric. I also put that link in the description of this video. Looking forward to all of your comments. Other than that, see you next time. And remember to stay charged.